Let's say that you are going to use the dryer. You set the timer on a drying cycle, push the start button, and the dryer doesn't do anything. In other words the dryer is dead. One of the parts that you need to check, is the push to start switch. The first thing you need to do before starting to work on the dryer, is to disconnect the dryer from the wall outlet. You will need to use a spatula, or a putty knife. To compress the control panel holding clips, you will need to insert the putty knife or spatula under the controls panel. Here. And here. Stick the spatula or putty knife, and compress the holding clips. Lift the controls panel, and lean it against the wall. Now you have access to the push to start switch. You will need a jumper wire, with two insulated alligator clips, similar to this one. Connect the jumper wire between the two terminals with the wires still connected to the push to start switch. Like this. Lower the controls panel, but don't lock it with the retainer clips. Set the timer on the off position. Connect the dryer to the wall outlet. Turn the timer dial to a drying setting. If the motor starts running, this is an indication that the push to start switch is bad, and must be replaced. If the motor doesn't run, this indicate that you need to check other parts on the motor circuit. The push to start switch is a safety device. Making it necessary to have to push on the start switch any time that the door on the dryer is opened. So please don't use the jumper wire as a replacement for a push to start switch. Just play it safe and replace the bad switch with a new one. Let me show you how to check the switch for continuity with a multimeter. Make sure that the dryer is disconnected from the wall outlet before proceeding. Disconnect the jumper wire from the push to start switch. To remove the wires from any electrical part, use a nail like this one. Put the tip of the nail on the hole on the terminal, push on it, and pull the wire out. Disconnect the wires from the start switch. Set your multimeter on the lower scale to read ohms. You will need to push and hold the push to start switch button, while taking a reading between the two terminals on the switch. The reading should be close to 0 ohms. If the reading is infinity while you are pushing the button, the switch is bad and must be replaced. Remove the button from the start switch. Disconnect the wires from the switch. Use a small screwdriver to disengage the switch locking tab. And remove the bad switch. Put the new switch in place. And push it in, to lock the holding tab. Connect the two wires to the switch. It doesn't matter which wire connects to which terminal. 
these tabs go in these holes. Lower the controls panel. And secure it in place. That was the way to check and replace the push to start switch. Click on the following links to subscribe to my channel and to visit my website.